Imats haul video and I'm just going to be showing you guys what I bought from Imats and yeah, so um, first off, I went on the Sunday, um, last year I went on the Saturday but um, this year I went on the Sunday because I had something on on the Saturday so I couldn't make it but then again it worked out to be really good because the Saturday, from what I heard, was jam-packed, a lot of people went, so I guess it's good for me that I went on the Sunday because I was able to get everything that I wanted to get. So, yeah. There are a few stalls, like extra stalls this year compared to last year. Mac was there, Inglot was there, Napoleon Purdy's was there, and Mac, Napoleon, Inglot... And Ilamaska was there. So yeah, I was really keen on going to the Inglot stall first because I was really keen on their freedom system, freedom system. Mac Pro was there, so it's not the usual Mac. They didn't have lipsticks and other bits and pieces. I think it's more so for people who are in the makeup industry. For me personally, it's just like a hobby, something on the side. So I didn't really get anything from Mac Pro. Um, Ilamaska, they didn't really have many products at all so Pauline Purdy's um I didn't really go and look too because I've been there before and I've got I've gotten a few products from there so I wasn't really keen on buying anything from there but just to have a look but I did look at their I was watching one of their demos that they had two makeup artists was doing were doing someone's makeup and another lady was just talking about it and I was just watching trying to get some tips and um yes that was about it um if you guys haven't watched my first video, um, my very, very first video, that was on IMATS 2010. And um, that year I bought pretty much basics, essentials. I bought a brush roll, I bought um, the 88 palettes, warm and colour. So um, when you come, you get a big IMATS bag like this. Last year it was red, this year it was white. And you get it comes empty so I guess everything that you buy goes in there and then you also get you get a brochure with it comes in a, a box I got the 20 palette and this is mine oh, it's so cool I'm so excited so that's something that I've learned um, trying to actually open this is hard because it's magnetized on each corner so I found the easy way is to slide it sideways rather than opening it either way because that I need to rip my fingernail off so you just slide it that way so now that it's off these are the colors so crooked sorry so yeah so I got a lot of purples across the top some neutrals these are all matte their mattes are really pigmented all their colors are really pigmented so all you need is just a little tiny bit a little bit goes a long way and then just blend it um, I've got some browns this color I'm absolutely loving it's very similar to my nail polish color let me see what I can... and then just some other different some greens and a blue and some other ones there um, the lady was saying that the purples would look really good against my eye color because I want to make it pop and so I got a few purples just a bit more purples and green she said would look nice and I liked the oranges and browns so I bought some of them as well so that's a 20 palette um, another tip for um, Inglot palettes is since it's since it's got a magnet on each corner an easy way to get the actual eyeshadows out since they are magnetic is you take the corner and just place it, oops, say for example this colour here, just place it on top, you can hear it click, and then it just lifts it out. Um, yeah, I found that's an easy way, because at first I was getting a knife and trying to order them in the order that they were, but I accidentally did that when I was trying to take it off, and I'm like, that's an easy way. So... And um, at iMats, everything seems to be 20 to 30% off regular price. So instead of these being $10, I think each each eyeshadow was 7 So yeah. But I got this, the Beauty Pod. 
airbrush FX. What you do is you put it in water, squeeze that out so it's damp, and then you can put some foundation on the back of your hand, put it on, like smear it on, and then you smear it onto your skin to get a flawless finish. Uh, so far I've just used my fingers and brushes so I really wanted to try out the beauty sponge because a lot of people have said it's really good and it was only $10 so good bargain. Um, next I got, I've always heard that Ardell lashes are really good so I bought some, these were $6.95. They're Demi, Demi Wispies from Ardell and it's got an invisible, invisible <laughs> lash band. So yeah I've I read, I have one of Ray Morris's makeup books and she, on one of the pages, like a spread out on both pages, was a model and she tried on a different um, fake lashes and so I could see the difference between each one and I really liked how these looked on her and um, they looked a bit more natural but just really full so the wispy ones is the ones that I was going for. So. I got those and those were yeah six ninety five, and then lastly, I went to the Makeup Forever store. Um, I've always heard of Makeup Forever having really good waterproof products, so I ran straight there after Inglot. So I got three things from Makeup Forever. First thing I got was a lip pencil. It's the Aqua Lip, and it is in what is it eighteen C. And now the colour is very similar to my nail polish colour as well. Um, I'm really loving this colour. And um, that's what it looks like. Let me just swatch it. Oops, where is it? So it's a really nice, vibrant colour. Um, I'm really keen to wear it for um, summer. And it's Aqualip, so it's waterproof. It'll stay put. And yes, yeah, so I'm really excited about that. And then I got two Aqua Eye Pencils. So I wear this in the, like the waterline. I got a champagne colour, which is 23L. Oops, and that's the aqua eyes. And then I got a white. I thought the champagne would be a bit more natural in this one for when I want something really dramatic and white. And then the white is 14L. And... It's waterproof and it's aqua eyes. So yes, yeah, so I got those two colours. So that is the champagne. <laughs> How awkward. And that is the white. So the white's on this side, the champagne's on that side. So yeah, as you can tell, it's a bit of a difference. Um, I really enjoyed it. Not sure if I'll go again next year. Um, I, actually, I'm pretty sure I probably will. Um, but yeah, so those are the things that I bought. I think it would be more beneficial if I was like doing freelance work or I was a makeup artist as a profession because you can get a lot of things much cheaper than what you can um, in stores because of their discount for iMats but also because like the makeup store that I bought the Makeup Forever products from they're usually only online so going to iMats you know you're cutting off the um, the shipping fee so you can kind of get it all at once without having to pay shipping fees. My makeup is pretty like out there today. Um, I was just practicing before I made the video. Heavy contouring, highlighting, long lashes as you can see. Um, I was just trying it all out, trying to in purple lips. Um, I was using, I'll show you what colours because I was, I really wanted to try out my Inglot palette. So on the actual lid I have that really pretty pink colour. As you can see. Ooh. And in the crease I have this purple and then in the inner corner which you can't really see because of the lighting is this orange orange champagne -y, like peach color see you guys in my next video hope you enjoyed it and bye